Yeah. I told you one day I'd get an assistant, didn't I? Yeah. So we work the camera now. So we've got Tracy, Wayne, Viv, Jeanette, Cynthia, Alison, Ali, me, and Beebs down the street. So looking good down there all day. Good stuff, guys. Okay. Oh, here's Nicola. Okay. Call it in. Got Nicola. Are they real flowers or plastic ones, Nicola? Uh, plastic ones. Plastic ones. Dusty plastic ones. <laughs> All right. Saves, you, saves the water ecology, isn't it? That's what it is. <laughs> they look real. Okay, guys, let's move yeah. on. Uh, Joe there at the front, Ronnie the co pilot, tucked in behind. Oh, somebody's watching the F Live program. The tell you. Yeah, I know. Meeting them all down. That's Wayne. He's looking for a new manager for Wolverhampton Wanderers. That's what that is. Apply for the job, Wayne. We will all second it, mate. And if not, we'll get the double boys ladies round with their with their golf clubs and their, their mallets and their sledgehammers. They'll get you the job. All right, guys, mute it down. Let's crack on, eh? Here we go. Hands out. Is that, yeah. Let's just be to there, guys, OK? Let's just get in the zone. It's bank holiday. It doesn't matter what you do today, but just let's get some me time at some point and chill. And if you've got a list of jobs, do you know what? Screw the jobs up and chuck the paper away. Don't do anything after this. Keep the hands there. Turn them up and breathe in. Let's exhale down to the heart. Thumbs above the heart. Nice and relaxed. Elbows low for two and a three. Squishing them out. We're not going to go to 15s. We're going to keep it about 10s today, okay? 10, two-thirds, and a good measure is quickly push out and relax it down again. Roll the hands over. Open the things up gently. Not fruit bowls, little sauces of cornflakes this morning, okay? Don't spill the cornflakes on the floor. Takes you, you'll be picking up next Christmas. Breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. It's an 80% push in, elbows high. Go. Three, walk the hands over, pull apart, go. Two, and a three, relax them down, gonna click and in. Good, so you guys watch this on a catch up later, hope you had a brilliant day, use this as a chill down, okay? Take the hands, palms towards me guys, feet nice and flat on the floor, and just gently take that around. All you've missed, Anne, is we've just done a three second isometrics push in. Round we go, and we had a, we were asking Nicola about her flower arranging. There we go. Left and right and round. Last one this side. Last one that side. Relax those arms down because I can feel it in my shoulders. I bet you can as well. Let's hold that thumb. Rotate it back two or three. So when does the milk of yoga start? It starts as soon as we click inwards on the screen, guys. Can we start thinking mental wellness straight away? Take the hands up and out. Turn them up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, elbows low, pause and just hold it there. Lock the knees out, bring them forwards. Pelvic floor abs, 30%. Imaginary string, two and a one. Arc those hands down to the side and gently lean over any side you want to. Feel a stretch in the waistline and we don't go any further. And we're slowing everything down. Now, whether or not we're going to do less exercises in this, so not, we're just going to say, okay, I've got my list there. And we're not intent on keeping that up for this week, but let's see how we do. Bring it back up and lean over the other way. What I am going to do is slow this session right down. But because of that, you've got to have the brain thinking of something, relaxing and be wanting to be in that me time. And bring it back up, guys. Good stuff. Taking the hands behind the back and gently pull the shoulders backwards, bring the scapulas together. Not breathing that out to exercise on like sacti stress, just move them to the rear. I've seen people go to gyms to do a uh, up and atom fitness class and they've been full. So they thought, I'll go and do a yoga or a Pilates. And when they've left, they've been all hours, but because they were up for doing something high intensity. So you've got to have it be in the right mind frame for your yoga, your Pilates. Pull the shoulders back a little bit more. Just feel it, and we'll get a lot of benefit out of this because of the range of movement that we've increased. Two, and a one. Hands coming all the way to the front now. 
that front forward or forward facing prayer position and gently push the hands forward, just gently. You probably feel your glutes will fire up and engage, the back of the calves will engage because we're pushing more weight to the front. We're keeping a good posture, dropping the hands down to the thighs. I'm going to bring my insteps in narrow. Bicycle chain, guys. Watch the balance. It's nice straight lines. Breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest and slowly coming down to the floor, pushing those fingers in, really focusing on this session, using it as a getting us back to our best with the classes and the moves. Middle fingers in front of those toes, pause and hold. It feels awkward, I know. The abdominal area doesn't feel quite right because our legs are together, so they're getting a bit squashed in there. But we're okay, nice and relaxed. Big deep breath in. Exhale, try and straighten those knees up to the rear. Cat stretch, chin to the chest. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale, and slowly coming back up. Good engagement with the core and stop us wobbling about, bringing those shoulders back, elbows go slightly to the rear. I look up to the corner of the room, I pause and hold. Now bring the feet out to that semi sumo, just level with underneath, more or less, where the elbows are. Feet facing me, straight up and railway lines, okay? Hands to the thighs, no dangly arms on this one. Breathe in. Exhale, chin to the chest, and we slowly take it down again. Good focus. Every single movement of those fingers and the hand coming down the thighs, I want to feel all the way down. Middle fingers coming to in front of those toes. I pause and hold. Now I feel like the abdominal area feels more relaxed. The lower back has got a better stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, push the knees to the rear, chin to the chest. Think cat stretch. Bring it way up. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale. As I exhale, then my mid spinal area, a little click there. Up we come. Last movement is the chin off the chest, but the shoulders come back. Pause and hold. Good posture. Hands to the side of the body. Inhale. Exhale. And we lean over. I haven't done this for a single about two, three weeks now. Little teapot, guys. Why have we been doing that for so long? Under the arm and keep moving it down. Get to your 10 and hold. I'm about two or three inches off where I normally would be, but when we want the 10, not the 15. Breathe in. Exhale. And again, gently. We want to finish this session so we look back and think, remember that bank hold we did that yoga? It was a nice, relaxed session. We didn't work it or push it. And when we finished, I felt nice and relaxed. The body was open. Inhale. Exhale and slowly coming back up. And we're going to go over to your side. I best keep my eyes open. You're going to disappear. I'll be sitting one day. I'll open my eyes. I'll be sitting having a cup of tea. Little tea by handle under the armpit and gently going over, engaging a nice lateral thoracic breathing. That's my 10 there. If it comes down to nine or eight, I'll increase it. But I'm not aiming for the 15. There's absolutely no need to. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale, slowly up we come, taking the hands to the hips, and we're going to circle those hips around. So we're combining a nice little routine here. We've got three or four exercises going on, one after the other, take it back around the other way. So instead of working through, like on a Saturday stretch, doing big, deep stretches, then moves on releasing, we'll combine it into a little workout, guys. Now, I want you to take your hips left and right. It's a bit of a side bend, but imagine string out the hips side to side, and that's pulling the hip rather than you lean over. It's a different movement. There we go, keep my hands like that. Look, you can see, I imagine you stream, pulling the hips left and right. Two, one, and a pause. Let's bring those feet in, give them a bit of a shake out, so we're not building up any stress in the ankle, keeping the return of circulation on. Good stuff. I'm gonna bring the feet back out. Now I'm taking them between the elbow and the wrist. So I've moved it out, what? About another six inches or so, depends how long your forearms are, I suppose. Again, the feet are facing us again, okay? Good. Hands back to the thighs to here, so we can increase this range of movement and the elasticity of the muscle groups. Breathing in. Exhale, chin to the chest, sliding the hand down the front of the legs, past the kneecaps. 
As I get the kneecaps, the palm of the hands, always want to pause and stop. It's a natural fit. Middle fingers to the toes and then onto the floor. Now that is feeling totally, totally different. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Just try and straighten those legs up. You're probably finding a straight but quite easy. Chin to the chest, cat stretch. Good. Slowly increasing our run. For a reset, let's breathe in. Exhale and slowly come back up again. We always talk about locked out knees, which prevent return circulation, but in this circumstance, it's okay. Let's stand up and knees go soft again. We're not stopping anything in that one. I'm going to take the hands up and out this time, take them to this side. One time only, let's rotate around. Feel the difference because our feet have been opened up and back around the other way. Again, it's 10 out of 15, guys, not the 15. We know we could go a lot further. Bring it back around to me, hands to the side. Again, any side you want to. Breathe in, exhale, and over we go. There. That feels good. That's what we want to do, guys. We want to feel good. You, do, you, you can be the fittest person in the world. You can work out three, four hours a day if you're a superman or super lady. But every so often, you've got to slow it down and do something three quarters of what you can do and just enjoy life and realize how fit, agile, strong, and stretchy you are. Breathe in, exhale, bring it back up. Because if you don't, if we work hard all our life, you switch off. We all know that one. We've got to stay mentally focused, taking it all the other way. And this is really a session like this. A big percentage of it is for the gray matter between the ears. Again, I'm at 10 there. And I can come down to a nine, so I'll take it down. If you stick it at 10, you think, oh, I do want to go. If you breathe in, in your own time, as you exhale, that's what's going to release it. Comes down to 9 or 8, you can keep it at 10. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale. We slowly come back up. Pause, hold, hands to the hips. And in this position, let's rotate those around. Isn't that feeling good for the back, the lower back? The belly of the hamstrings as well. All the way around, taking it back the other way. And it's nice and slow. Focused and concentrated, round we go. Looking good, two and a one. Going to bring those feet back in again. Give them a nice gentle shake out, maybe rotate the ankles around. Shake the hands out a little bit, get the fingers wiggling, feeling good. Bending the knees, rotating the shoulders around. That's relaxing us all out, guys. That's stuff we can do all during the day. We'll get another thing, isn't it? Rotate your shoulders around, okay? One, they'll think you're, going, you're giving them attitude back and put a bit of card up for them. But we know we're just relaxing. I'm going to bring those feet out, not to my maximum, but as long as they're further than halfway down the arm, this is the last one, all right? So out I go to get the measure. That's my widest point. The feet are facing inwards. Hands to the hips. On this one, however, think banana shape and look up the corner of the room and feel that engagement in our lower pelvic floor. And after the Saturday stretch, don't know how you all felt, but so loose around that hip area, now we're getting those muscles fired up again. Round the and still feeling nice and relaxed around here. And a lot of you, that would have been working for up to eight hours through your nervous system. Hands to the thighs. Breathing in. Exhale. Down we go, guys. Pushing the hands down the body. I'm at the bottom of my shins now, and that's as far as I'm going to go. Because if I go any further, I'm going to go past the 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Don't want to do that. I sound like a cowboy film for a second, didn't it? 10 to 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, breathe in. Exhale. Straighten those legs up. Arch the back up. Put chin to the chest. Look directly behind us. And now feel how strong and powerful you are in that position, guys. Cardiovascular system is loving it. Three, two, one. Breathe in. Exhale. And we're slowly coming back up. Uncoiling. Getting nice. There. Good posture. Now feel the adductors working. As we came back up, everything engaged from the knees to just below our ribs. Hands to the side. That's a breath in. And we lean over, little teapot, hand come up the side of the body. 
as my fingertips get under the armpit, that's my ten. It just so happened that it was. It's eased off. So I'm just taking it down a little bit more. Watch that balance. Breathe in. Exhale. And over. So if you breathe in there, you feel that the ribs engage, the waists engage. Over the other side. Little teapot handle leaning over. That's got to the ten. And I've got tingly feelings down the spine, feeling good, feeling relaxed, breathing in, guys. Exhale, coming back upwards. Good, liking that one. From here, hands to the hips, gently rotate them around. It's difficult to get any type of rotation in. But remember, if we think and focus on the movement we want, we activate those areas back around the other way. We can feel that work. I'm going to bend the knees a little bit, coming to the front. Two. And one, pause, hold. Let's bring those feet in. They've been working hard. We're going to stretch it down the lateral aspect of our legs at the same time. And we're gently going to give them a nice shake out. Okay. In steps. We're going to be about, but facing nice and straight. Okay. Feet are going to come out about the same width as my shoulders. So not more, just in slightly, if you know what I mean. Okay. So toes nice and straight. We're going to come down to a bicycle chain. But walk it out so we've got that inverted eagle shape going on, okay? Breathing in. Exhale, chin to the chest, sliding it down. And that's feeling good already. It's feeling totally different to the first ones we did about 15 minutes ago. I'm going to walk those hands out now. Coming out. Keep the heels on the floor and I'm on my fingertips. Now I'm looking behind me. And I've got a big stretch behind the knees. Come up on the toes now. I'm now on the flat of the hands and I'm on my toes, legs straight, looking behind me. I'm going to hold that there. Alternate feet, guys, as we drop one heel to the floor, bend the opposite knee. So I'm going to go left heel to the floor, then the right, left and right. So remember, you're going to feel a big stretch in the back of your leg, but don't take it to the 15, keep it to the 10, even if your heels don't touch the floor. Left, right, left, right. Cardiovascular system like in this one, left. Return of circulation, left and right. One more left, one more right. I'm on the toes, stick the butt in the air, legs nice and straight. I'm going to walk it back so I'm on my fingertips and I've got my feet flat. Try to keep the legs straight. Now bring the hands back in all the way to the front of the toes. And for a reset, breathe in. Exhale and slowly bring it back up. So because our heart was a lot lower then and we had that pumping action from the lower part of the legs, the calf area, Massive return circulation. Take those hands up and out. And notice we don't feel dizzy. No vasovagals. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exercising our cardiovascular system, so blood supply and returns, guys. Exhale down. It's keeping the venous supply and return looking good. Pause and hold there. It's keeping the, the blood vessels nice and healthy and the elasticity. Take the hands out, pause and hold. Good. Just hold that position there for two and a one, arcing it nicely down. Thumbs, rotate the shoulders to the rear. Good. Then to the front. We're liking that one. And then we're going to bring it out, guys. How your long leg goes in this one, you now decide that one. I'm going to do the adductor to get in that position. So bring the feet out just below the hands, turn my right foot this way, chest facing you. And I'm down that position there. And I'm just going to hold that. Chest facing you. Last long leg. Both feet flat on the floor. And just hold. Now just bring the arm up straight. Straight to upwards. Not level with the body. And hold that. Turn the palm towards me. So the whites of the hands. And wave. Good. So, and just hold that there. We're just holding that. Focus on the breathing. Focus on the strength of that leg. Take it to about a 10. I'd say that's about it there. Now bring it nice and slowly back upwards. Bring this foot back straight. I'm going to take this one back out again. Into that adductor stretch, taking it down, feet nice and flat, chest facing one another. 
Hand coming up, palm facing you, so the white of the hand. Here we go. Little wave. And hold. So a bit of strength going on. That's what yoga's about as well. Strength, stability. Two, one. Bring it back upwards, guys. And nicely down. Let's de-stress. Bring the feet in. Give it a nice little gentle shake out, okay? So just by holding that little bit, you probably felt activating deep in the pelvic floor area and right up the center of the stomach into here, working through our digestive system, if you like. Feet back to the same position. Only the last time we're going to come to this position, all right? So taking the feet out there to there. Same again, down, hold, and that's feeling better. But this time, we're now taking those hips down and come to the instep of that leg there and hold. Just holding that there. Take that hand up, palm facing me to there, and lower down. Lower down. Feel that stretch inside the thigh to here. Adductors, 10 out of 15. Or 15 out of 10, no, 15. 10 out of 10, or more than that. Two, one, bringing it back up and arc it down. Feel the heart rate come a little bit, working that, that foot's facing you. This is now coming that way. And down we go, that position there. Chest facing one another, good profile. Taking the hand up nice and straight and holding. That makes the cardiovascular system work a little bit harder. Long legs on the instep. Pause and hold. Big strength exercise. Where we can feel the power that we have. Two, one, arcing it up. Bringing it back down. Let's squish those feet in. And that is a fantastic pelvic, lower pelvic floor exercise. The other ones we know about, or imagine the lift shaft and squeeze and relax and squeeze and relax. But doing that one and holding it, only for about 10, with my 10 seconds max, that's all we did there. That's a massive strength in low pelvic floor exercise, guys. Good stuff. We're going to go down to a tabletop. Here we go, hands to here, breathe in. Exhale, down we go. Nice getting down to the tabletop, getting down to all fours, guys, walking it out. Make sure we've got a nice position there. Nicely stacked. Hips above the knees, shoulders above the hands. I'm 45 degrees, no cameras yet, that's okay. But I know I've got a green, I put a green to all stressed in all red before, and I blended in so much, you already could see was, was my head. All right. So also full of cold water, smaller back, and hold that there. 30% pelvic floor, abs. Make sure relaxing those feet, top of the foot on the floor. If you get a cramp, just curl the toe under. Okay, cat stretch, breathe in. Exhale, push up, remember you're 10, no more. Chin to the chest. Inhale, exhale, and back down to normal tabletop. Hold, cat stretch, breathe in. Exhale, up we come. One more of those after this. Your 10 has probably gone to what would have been a 12 on the first movement. Lower back down. Nice, that's what I said, breathe in. Last one, breathe in. Push the back up. Nice gentle cat stretch, up we come. I bet this time, this would have been a 15 on the first one, but you're trying to keep it at 10. Back down to a tabletop. Like in that one, and hold. Let's bring up forearms to the floor, guys. Forehead coming down to the mat or carpet. Once you're there, just hold for two, one. Now breathe in. Exhale and take, let gravity take over and let the butt sink to the rear. If your nose starts getting squashed, turn your head to the side. Breathe in. Exhale. I don't want people looking at you all thinking you do Tug Wilson's a nil clip yoga classes because you look like Henry Cooper. So keep, so keep the noses to one side. That's relaxing, isn't it? Just pause and hold that there. Like we said at the beginning, some pauses we're going to hold for a bit longer. Feel how the muscles start stretching out. Breathe in. Exhale. Relax. It's our time now. Nicely focused. On any thought that you want, if you can think two or three things, then fantastic. But don't get confused. Two, one, back up to your tabletop. And hold that position there. We're going to do one we haven't done again for over a month, believe it or not. 
We're coming down onto our stomach, guys. Hands W position. And even that, I lower down. I'm feeling nice and relaxed. We're going to keep the arms where they are, bring the insteps together. We're going to raise the legs up only from the hips if we can. Inhale, exhale, and raise up. Feel how the glutes engage straight away. Fantastic for the butt, this is. Body sculpting, muscle toning, four of our favorite words, and relax that back down again. Just the legs. One more, breathe in. Exhale and raise them up. The butt gets a nice gentle squeeze on there. We can hold it. The abs are working, lower pelvic floor's working again. Lower back and lower down. This time, it's the upper body. We're gonna look ahead not upwards as we raise the forearms off the floor, breathe in, exhale, and raise up from the hips, keeping the hands parallel. I tend to try and bring my shoulder blades together, the scapula's a bit on this one, but keeping the forearms parallel with the floor and lower down. Again, it's 10 out of 10. Inhale, exhale, and we raise up. So my scapulas are coming together, I'm looking ahead, Forearms parallel with the floor, and that movement there engages the abs, gets the spinal column working. It's loving this one, and lower back down. Before we join together for a full swan, let's just breathe in. Exhale. Okay, if I could put my hand through the screen on this next movement, I'd be able to spin you all around on your stomachs. Joining the feet and the upper body together for a full swan. Breathe in, exhale, and raise up. And that actually feels better, doesn't it? Because we get a nice curve down the spine. The muscles have all been fired up before. We're joining them together. Scapulas coming together. And that's a bit of a party piece, guys. Looking fantastic. And lower back down. And there. Good. One more of those. Breathe in. Exhale, up we come, looking ahead, looking amazing and holding, that's powerful, powerful stuff, and lower back down, pause for two, and a one, let's de-stress the spine, back up two, our tabletop, once we're there, make sure we're stacked, and a nice cat stretch, here we go, breathe in, Exhale, push the back upwards. That's my 10. Abs 30%, chin to the chest. And pause and hold there. Two, one, back down to the tabletop. Stick the butt out to the rear, saucer full of cold water, small the back, hold. Breathe in. Exhale, push back upwards for another cat stretch. Good. And one child's pose after this one. Lower back down, tabletop, forearms to the floor. Breathe in, exhale, let the forehead come down to the cap, the mop cat, the carpet or mat. Once there, breathe in again, exhale, let the butt sink to the rear, switch off the body now. Let it totally relax, like we're gonna melt through the floor and hold that for three and a two, and a one. And slowly come up from there, guys. Get to a good tabletop and just hold it. Just hold the tabletop and go through the checks. Are my hands below the shoulders? Mine weren't, I'm adjusted that one. Knees, I'm looking behind me, they're below the hips. Top of the feet on the floor, 30% abs, nice lateral thoracic breathing. Saucer full of cold water, small the back. Feeling no stress through the body. If I've got some in the base of my skull, tip the head down a little bit. I mean, you're raising the head up too much. Keep it nice and neutral. Ears, shoulders, hips, all aligned. Breathe in. Exhale. Relaxed. Good. For two. And a one. Okay, we're going to be kneeling on our haunches, if you like. Facing one another. I'm gonna open those knees up, guys. Bring them out. Now we should be feeling 
Do the Saturday stretch. A big difference now. Open those legs. In fact, I didn't have to abuse my hands that time. That position there. Take the hands up and out. Turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Pause and hold. Squish them out again. Bring the hands to our front. And we're going to come to a child's pose. So walk those hands out. Keep the knees nicely where they are. So imagine somebody's hands on your hips now. We're going to roll those hips to the rear. Breathe in. Exhale. And if you have to, gently push from the forearms and roll them to the rear. And you're going to feel a huge release in the area of the adductors. Now, again, this is 10 out of 15. Don't go to your 15s. I know we get that feeling, well, we want to go further, but hold it there. Breathe in. Exhale. If you can, roll it a bit more, but don't go past the 10. And just keep in mind the 10 as it rolls backwards. My forehead's now onto the mat or carpet, and I'm going to hold that position there. Inhale. Exhale. If that starts going past the 10, then decrease a little bit, guys. For a reset, breathe in. Exhale, coming back up onto our haunches, facing one another. Bring the knees in slightly to de-stress around the lower abdominal area. And that's feeling comfortable on the insteps of my feet. Bring the hands back down, hold my ankles. And I'm going to lean back in that position there. And look up at the ceiling. And just hold that position there. A two. And a one, bring it back nice and straight again. Take the hands up and out, turn the palms up, breathe in. Keep the hands there as we exhale. Relaxed elbows, breathe in. Exhale and feel the butt sinking down. We get nice and starts to feel more comfortable, doesn't it? If it feels uncomfortable, bring the knees in very slightly. Just hold that there. Gently over left or right, guys, 45 degrees. Over we go. And bringing it back. And over to the other side. Good stuff. Just so we get a teaser of a stretch in the waist, bring it back again. Inhale. Exhale. Gently push the hands straight upwards. Not try and touch the ceiling. Palms now facing me. And bring them down so we we'll try and touch each other's noses. That little movement there, feel how that changed a release down through the upper part of the hamstrings into the glutes. Pause and hold. Big deep breath in, keep the hands there. Exhale, take the hands nicely around in the arc, guys. Looking good. And let's unwind these legs and bring them out to the front. Here we go. Then a nice sit down facing one another. Let me check the time. Yeah, good stuff. All right. Oh, that's my right knee cracking out, my left knee cracking at the same time. Right, feel that rush now, the de-stress. We've opened up those tissues and just maintaining the nine. And now we're getting a big rush of everything. Everything's opened up, guys. Pull the toes towards the shins. Think a good postural position here. Imaginary string. Looking up, but we want to feel a bit of a stretch down the chin here. So you have to look a little bit more. That's fine. Now take the hands up out, pause, hold, turn the palms towards me and just hold that position again. Now again, leaning over left, about 45, nice and slowly. In fact, my arm's going to touch the floor, or the hand is. Now, I'm bringing it back up. I'm taking it to the other side. And gently, the sides of those fingers are going to touch the floor. Now, I'm bringing it back up. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the front, palms facing down towards those toes. Big deep breath in. Exhale, lean forwards, pull the toes towards the shins, get touched down to the 10 out of 10 and just hold. Relax the head, let the head look down towards the floor. Big deep breath in. Exhale, sliding forwards, got to my 10. You know what, I'm thinking 10 to 10s all the way and I'm probably getting 
a quicker and a longer range of movement on the sit and reach than I've ever done before. Breathe in, exhale, sliding forwards. Don't worry about the knees bending, that's not a problem. Hands on the soles of the feet. I'm gently pulling those toes backwards, but not working it. Keeping it at the 10. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Pause and hold for three. And a two. And a one. Gonna slide back to that recovery position, guys. Think sitting tall. Hands on the kneecaps, where the palms of our hands rest on the kneecaps. Shoulders back, looking up. Hold that position there. Don't worry about pressing your buttons yet. I'm just going to press the one this side. We haven't finished. There we go. Good. Okay, so I'm now in the same position as you. Now, from there, take those hands to the rear. We're going to raise up, and not a reverse plank, but raise upwards. We're going to try and get those ears, shoulders, hips all aligned. Remember, some movements, if we can't do them or it doesn't move, we think about it, you work in the same muscles. Breathe in, exhale from the heels. I'm looking backwards, tilt the head backwards, that will help, and I raise the hips upwards. Once I feel them aligned, I hold it. Now my feet have come out to the sides. Don't worry about pointing those toes towards the ceiling. Two, one, and lower back down. Again, try and fire the muscles up, but keep it at a nice, gentle exercise. That's a thoracic breathing. One more of those. Breathe in. Exhale. Tilt the head backwards. Look up at the ceiling, and the hips will rise upwards. Then hold. Ears, shoulders, hips. Some people hate doing the plank on their elbows and forearms, but we can get it done this way. Inhale. Exhale. Bring those hips back down. Back to a sitting position, feet flat on the floor. We haven't done this one for a few weeks. Gordon, Benny, his wife, Mary, and the goldfish. What's happening? Wrap those arms around the thighs, guys. It's a big virtual hug and a good back holiday day. I hope you guys have been out had a great day and you've got some catch up. It's chilling you out. This was all about a relaxing session, guys, for the mental, but to fire everything up, I think we achieved it and we're relaxed. Take those hands up and out. We don't want gentle ripples, though. Take this to a tidal wave. Tsunami, clack. One, two, three. Go. Yes. Brilliant stuff, guys. It's bank holiday. Enjoy it. If you've got to do some work, guys, and just enjoy it. Enjoy whatever you are doing and chill out. Stay safe, above all. Brilliant. Well done. Good. First time. See you all. Bye. 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 Bye.